Alright, so I'm going to show how to fix a screen flicker issue with the ATI um, graphics cards. I'm not sure which series this works on, but as you can see, whenever I move this, it flickers at the top. Um, it's been worse if I uh, hook up the monitor to a different port in the graphics card, so that's why it's on the other top. I also just went crossfire, so this is when it started to happen to me. Um, but I found out on a forum which uh, works perfectly, so I'm going to show you how to fix it. So what you have to do, uh, you have to open up uh, the Catalyst Control Center, so you have it up. You go to Options, you go Profiles, you go Profile Manager, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one. So I already have one created, but we'll write in Test Pilot. save I'm not gonna hit save but then hit save so uh, and then actually you know what yeah the, it says okay it says it exists you want to replace it yeah sure so it's not active don't activate it hit close just put that down so what we need to do um, you're you're gonna have to have show hidden files um, uh, enabled so you can do this so what we do we go to control panel appearance uh, and personalization then we go show hidden files where there's the folder option and once we're there this will pop up so it will be under view and at default if I go restore it's there so we want to do show hidden files and uncheck these two boxes a message will come up saying blah 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 we say yes hit apply it's good. Alright, so then we exit up out of that. Uh, then we have to go to start computer. We go there. We go uh, local C disk. Oh, no. oh, yeah, we do. Okay, we go there. Um, we go to users. We go to your name. My name is Scott Johnson, so I'm going to go there. Uh, we go to app data. We go to check local. Okay, local. Then we go to ATI. Then we go to ACE. Then we go to profiles. So then you can see I have two profiles, and these are my ATI profiles. So we go test pilot. What we're going to do, uh, we're going to right click, you're going to hit edit, not open, you're going to hit edit. So then, uh, right here, it's going to say feature name, core clock, if we can see that. This is my iPhone, so that's not very good quality. It says, I'll, I'll put it in the description, but it says feature name equals quotations core clock target underscore zero. Uh, and quotations and then uh, below that it says property name equals quotations want underscore zero quotations and then value equals and then in quotations it's gonna have uh, 157 or 157,000 so what we want to do is we want to change that so we're gonna change that uh, just delete it just the number and type in uh, 400,000. So that's going to set our core clock to 400,000. Then we're, we want to go to uh, the one below it, which is feature name uh, equals quotations memory clock target underscore zero and quotations. Uh, and right under that, it's going to say property name equals uh, quotations want underscore zero under. Er, yeah, underscore zero uh, quote, end quotations then value is 42 uh, 420,000 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this one we're gonna change it to 900,000 and that's all we're gonna do then we're gonna go file I'm gonna save and we're gonna exit that so 
right now you can see this lines up there still doing it just takes it out of that still doing it it's super annoying so let me just go here catalyst control center we go options again we go profiles activate profile do test pilot so profiles activate profile test pilot exit that and voila we are fixed and the reason because this happens we can open it up again is because ATI they have set the the current like the idle temps or the idle speeds really really low and that's what makes it happen so we're setting it to 4009 or sorry 400 and uh, 900 megahertz for core or GPU and then uh, the memory and that's that fixes it so I hope this helped you guys uh, give me some feedback on in the comments if you have any more questions thanks